I have a secret. Do you want to hear it? There's something about fiber you may not know. I'm willing to share this special secret with you on this episode of H2 Minutes. People have been including fiber in their diet for years because of the health benefit it provides. Individuals with high intakes of dietary fiber appear to be at a significantly lower risk for developing coronary heart disease, hypertension, strokes, diabetes, obesity, and certain gastrointestinal diseases. Dietary fiber is derived from the plant cell wall. It mainly includes cellulose, peptic polysaccharides, resistant starch, etc. Foods rich in fiber or indigestible carbohydrates are called prebiotics and include fruits, vegetables, and some grains. Fiber feeds micro and aerobic bacteria that lives in our intestines, also referred to as gut flora. Our bodies actually cannot digest or absorb fiber, so instead it is fermented in the large intestine and broken down. The byproduct of this reaction is what induces health benefits. Now here's the kicker. One of the byproducts of this fiber breakdown is, you guessed it, H2. In fact, our bodies produce over a liter of H2 on a normal day. This is one of the reasons why we know H2 is natural and safe, because H2 is not foreign to the body. With a healthy diet, our bodies can produce large amounts of H2, as high as 10 liters per day. Science is actually discovering that H2 might play a vital role in why eating fiber-rich food is so healthy. One of the reasons we know H2 is produced is because it can be measured as is leaving the body via the lungs. Breath tests after eating fiber-rich foods have shown readings as high as 50 ppm of H2. We also know since it's coming out of the lungs that it's also being circulated through the blood. And if it's being circulated through the blood, then we know it can produce therapeutic effects. Let's take a look at this research article dated all the way back to 1988. It is proposed that molecular hydrogen produced in quite large amounts as a byproduct of colonic fermentation of dietary fiber and unabsorbed carbohydrates may play an important role. Hydrogen in tissues may act as a powerful reducing agent of potentially damaging free radical species and in doing so, along with other antioxidants, would help to control these potentially damaging species and their known involvement in disease causation. And this was almost 30 years ago. I told you it was a secret. Not convinced? Here's a study from 2012 that states, Our cobos may significantly resist inflammation and alleviate clinical ulcerative colitis symptoms, improving life quality in patients, and that these benefits can be attributed at least in part to the ability of our cobos to neutralize oxidative stress by increasing H2 production in the gastrointestinal tract. Still unsure? Here's another study where it says, Lacculose, a synthetic sugar not able to be digested and absorbed by human beings, is widely used to treat constipation and hepatic encephalopathy clinically. Through fermentation by the bacteria in the gastrointestinal tract, lacculose can produce considerable amounts of hydrogen, which is protective for ischemic strokes as a unique antioxidant. We propose that lacculose can induce the production of endogenous hydrogen that in turn reduce oxidative stress and ameliorate the stroke damage in human beings. So what are your thoughts? Should this secret be a secret anymore? Let me know in the comments. Share this video with your fiber loving friends. That's your dose of H2 in two minutes. We need your help to get the H2 info out to the masses. Support H2 Minutes through our Patreon account. See the link in the description to become a patron and to gain access to additional H2 Minute material.